what's going on, Lumen123 are back with another video, and today, so, I'll be doing another minifig collection video, and today it's going to be on all my Zane minifigs, and Zane is from the LEGO Ninjago TV series, so without further ado, let's get into it. But the first Zane is actually from the LEGO Ninjago movie, so first we'll take a look at him, I really like the torso printing on him with like a bunch of eyes like coming out of him i really like that and then there's a bit on his white belt and then i really like this like gold like outline of his belt and then his back torso printing does does continue like that really nice eyes printing and then i believe this was the first time we were getting the two-piece ninja mask i'm not quite of a fan of it but i do really like that symbol on there i believe it may represent like the ice element and then he does have two facial expressions. The first one being this really creepy smile. And then the next one being quite an angry face. So that's really the nice. Next minifig is Zane from Season 8, Sons of Garmadon. Now, I really like the torso printing on him with, like, a belt with a few, like, pockets there. And then this really nice light blue and silver line. It does have some writing in it not quite sure what it does mean and then like this silver line there then i really like how the torso and legs both include like small triangle detailing which is great and then he does have a black bow and then a black set of arrows which is really nice and then i really like instead of just having a plain white mask it does have a black line going around it and then i really like how they've done this not technique and it does have the same symbol from the Legend in Jago movie one but it instead of being black it's in blue which I think matches Zayn a lot more and then taking off the black set of arrows taking off the black set of arrows it does have this really nice shape in the middle it does look like there's a symbol in it not quite sure and then on the back the belt does continue and then the small triangles also does continue and then the silver line does continue from the front and then he does have one face expression that is being a angry one i really like the angle of the eyebrows and then like that dark silver for his head is really nice and then i really like the head printing at the back with this really nice circle to give that like impression that he is a machine i really like that next minifig is from season nine hunted and i really like the torso printing with the amount of like belts and buckles on zane it's a very similar torso and leg printing from the previous zane but there's just a few more details as i said just a lot of printing of belts and buckles and then like some more belts on or buckles on the legs so it's very similar and then you can also see the blue and silver line there and then I really like the triangle design as well and he does have one sword and then he also does have his black bow and then his black set of arrows and then he also does have the same ninja mask one piece from the previous Zane but instead of having a white second piece of his ninja mask, he does have it in black. And then if we do take off his black set Taking of arrows, the black set of arrows of reveals some more printing. It's very similar to the last one, but instead it just has a few more printed like belts and buckles on. And then I really like how this Zane has one white arm and then one dark silver arm to give that impression that he is like almost like falling apart because he is a machine and it does have the same face with the angry expression and then this nice circle to also give the impression that he is a machine now moving on to the second row we start with legacy zane and i really like the torso printing on him with the 
golden dragon like going diagonally across his ninja robes and then I really like the leg printing with like maybe some bandages really like that and then I really like the toe printing as well that's really nice and then I really like how you can also see like his blue shirt under him which is quite an interesting feature and he does have quite a creepy facial expression and then on the other side quite an angry one and then just a bit more torso printing we do have another symbol not quite sure what it means it might represent like the ice element and then I really like how the golden dragon does continue on that side as well and then I really like the black outline with his ninja robe and then his ninja mask is really nice I like the white detailing and then the like light silver going around is great and then I like how it doesn't stop like midway it, go it goes like to his shoulders which is great but I kind of wish they did include a symbol on here like the previous three Next we have FC or Forbidden Spin Jitsu Zane and I really like the torso printing on here with it seems to be like strips of maybe lightning or ice going through his torso and then I really like the blue hands as well and then like the blue sort of robe tie and then I really like the leg printing with like the bandages again. And then on the back, it does continue that, like, the ice or lightning strip. And then the ninja mask is probably one of my favorite parts of Zane. I really like the ice or fire coming out of it in, like, this dark silver and with translucent blue. I think they work very nicely. Taking off the mask, we have quite a maybe, like, cocky or, like, happy facial expression. And then... Flipping it around, it does have the Forbidden Spin Jitsu facial expression. It reminds me of a butterfly because it is symmetrical on either side and he does look pretty angry. So the final Zane for today is not from a set, I don't believe he is, but he is from a minifig pack. And I believe he is the Tournament of Elements version of Zane. Now what I really like about this minifig is like his robe is like showing his sort of robotic parts. Like we have his main like heart there and then just a few more robotic parts. And he does have a dark silver arm. And then I really like how one of his arms is yellow also. And he does have this really cool like weapon. I'm not actually quite sure what it is but I really like these pieces and then it does show a bit more leg printing with his like like light silver bell and then just a bit more printing and then at the back it does have this really nice symbol of a dragon not quite sure what that is supposed to represent and then his mask is a really classic design as well because most of like the I believe up to season 4 they all had this mask in the same color representing the ninja so for instance kai would be red and then so on so i really do like the classic mask i really like this like cool groove into it to give it that sort of shape and then i really like the knot as well i like how it's almost the same level as the ninjago minifigs head but i kind of wish they maybe put it down like the legacy one taking it off you can see that he does have quite a maybe disappointed facial expression and it also does reveal a bit more of his like, robotic side I really like how they have done it instead of just giving like us a whole robotic head or like a whole minifig head they've actually split in two which is really nice I really like the detailing in his robotic side so that is really nice so hope you guys enjoyed this but as much as I did making it because I really do enjoy sharing my thoughts and my opinion on different Lego sets.
and different minifigs ranging from various themes. So once again guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I can let's see you soon. Goodbye!